Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. Welcome to Abu Dhabi. Welcome to Hack in the Box. We really appreciate all of the engagement and gathering from all around the world here in Abu Dhabi to defend, and that's most important word we always actually focus on. I will refer to a story that we just heard a part of it here. I have a friend who used to say, I don't have anything to hide. Let them hack me. Let them get my data. And he'd been continuing doing that for some time until one time, one day, middle of the night, I get a call from that guy telling me his WhatsApp is actually hacked. Not his device, not his photos, not his PC, his WhatsApp. And to him, that was really crucial as he'd been doing all of his communication through WhatsApp and not only hacking him, but also hacking other networks that he'd been communicating with, as well as friends of a friends that he'd actually been communicating with. So the saying where I have nothing to hide, I don't care if they hacked me, changed at that moment to him, as well as to other things that he'd been actually doing. And he was actually trying to do anything to allow this WhatsApp to come back to him. Even he tried to communicate with other friends to hack whoever is actually hacked him. Yes, he found that link or he found that OTP and how he was actually social engineered in order to get his WhatsApp. But again, until that return of his WhatsApp back, which took him again 48 hours until the authorization and many of the authentication happened with the main entities, but he lost, or not him as a matter of fact, but other friends who paid some of the amount as the guy was actually, again, uh, asking for payments here and there, transferring here and there, and they've been doing this for some time. That was only what's up. Imagine if it's a data of a nation. Imagine if it's a healthcare systems. Imagine if it's a financial records as well as systems. Today, we gathered here in Hack in the Box to solidify the importance of cybersecurity, as well as to ensure those 16 teams, as well as all of the esteemed guests who are actually with us here, all of the vendors who actually participated, all of the sponsors from Disrupt AD to many of the aspects that we're actually already working on to really work together and defend the world of cyber from any of those aspects and to build this safe and secure happen for fostering as well as for striving the digital security that we have. UAE is transferred from various generations from that e-government we used to hear to M-government, a mobile government that we actually as well used to hear, to a smart government. Nowadays, we're actually emphasizing on that smartness of many of the smart cities and to the artificial intelligent government that we are actually working on. And with all of the support from private and public sectors and how they will all together help in making sure this safe city or this smart city is safe. Yes, we're working together in order to emphasize on many of those aspects. However, the attacks is still there. Ransomware by itself, recently, during the pandemic and during after uh, or start of this year, it's really increasing high. And the problem with the ransomware is Again, have you taken your preparation in order to make sure you are prepared for this? Another story, actually, we have with one of the entities and their financial sector, where they were hit with a ransomware. And that ransomware locked all of their systems. They called that after the fact that they had this ransomware, actually almost more than 12 hours after they were hit with that ransomware. And they only called us for asking one question, shall we pay 
or shall we basically neglect many of those aspects? And the answer was very clear from us. Do you have a backup? Can you go back to wherever you were in a timely manner? And their feedback was, no, we don't have a backup. We never took such preparation. Or actually, we had a backup, but by the way, unfortunately, it was on the same system. So it is locked, and we cannot get it as well. And this is where they decided, based on their board and the meeting they have, they have to pay. And they did pay in order to get their data back. And the amount for the bank was actually not that much, but at least their data is back. And the first thing they did once they paid and once uh, they trusted that attacker is to, again, get back to their data and make sure they have a backup there in a timely manner. If that attacker was not honest to that level and just get the money and run away, that will be a different story. And this is where they learned and many of those uh, aspects that we have. Uh, from any of such attacks. So the importance of taking such preparation is very, very crucial for us all. All of our data now are on the cloud or on systems that is controlled by many of those electronic as well as information security aspects. So we need to make sure many of those aspects. And the way we do that is building the culture of cybersecurity. The culture doesn't come from one single event that we have. It's a continuous of such event, and Hack of the Box was really proven across many of those years to really solidify that importance of cybersecurity. Among other aspects, the UAE have been taken, and specifically Abu Dhabi, where hosting many of those, again, events as well as workshops and expertise from all around the world to really help in enhancing the cybersecurity of the nation as well as export this cybersecurity themes across the whole world and not only specifying here. Yes, we're trying to be the hub of many of those data as well as cybersecurity on that, but we cannot do it ourselves. We always need the help of many of those expertise. We always need the help of many of those great aspects who've been actually sponsoring and working with us across all of those years. And we really send them our best regards as well as uh, applause them in continuing many of those aspects. My message today with this new generations from academia as well as schools who are starting in many of those aspects. There are more than 16 teams who are competing today as well as different workshops from healthcare to financial to automobiles and many of the hackings and risk that you will see there. Let's get the knowledge as well as help in understanding the importance of these sectors and how we can work together to really emphasize the importance of cybersecurity. With all of this transformation of the digital world, with all of the things that is depend on IOTs, depend on networks, depend on clouds, we need to secure that to make sure this is really um, a safe heaven for all of the economies to actually foster as well as emphasize and enrich in this, in this aspects. We proven during the pandemic and specifically not only the first line defender who really worked hard, medical nurses as well as doctors to help all of these who really suffered during the pandemic. No, I'm referring to the cybersecurity experts and the digital basically uh, workforce who helped in ensuring work from home who worked on ensuring the infrastructure is always stable and secure despite the many attacks as well as the many uh, trials that tried to actually penetrate many of those uh, networks. But I really applaud every single one of you from vendors to expertise to people to academia who works on this major of cybersecurity as well as the digital transformation. And we extend our thanks as well to those who helped us in actually becoming one of those pioneers areas in cyber security. So with that, enjoy your time, work together, collaborate, partnership is one of the most important things we asked for. Thank you very much and enjoy your time. Thank you.